Hello everyone, this video will show you how to make advanced hypercubes using the smart slider tool, the weight tool, and the stacker tool. Now I'm also, you see me, uh, a few things that I'm using as well, I'll have smart snap and the precision tool in this add-on. Um, so once you get those add-ons, uh, you're going to go to a new game. Just gonna start a sandbox game, just do flat grass. Alright, we'll let that load. Okay. So you're going to go into the game and you're going to spawn a prop. The original hypercube used general and then just these little cubes here. But I'm going to make a cool hypercube using these ones. It doesn't have to be a cube, it can be a sphere, but I'm going to use this, these things. So I'm going to take a stacker, stacker tool, and I'm going to stack them with um, stack relative to prop. I'm going to freeze them. Uh, you can no them if you want. Do not weld them. I'm going to count two. So I'm stacking two out. I'm gonna increase this by. I'll give it like, give it a little bit of a gap. You might, you're gonna need the little gap. Give that five. How do I... All right, that's a good gap right there. So we make those, and then we're gonna go up. And then we go forward, front. All right, so now we have a uh, three by three cube. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to um, basically, oh, I'm gonna go into um, the weight stool. I'm gonna change these all to one. When it comes to sliders, it's better to have things that don't weigh anything because the more the weight, the more likely it is to wig out. I guess if you wanted to, you could have them all be weight 50, it would make it less stable. But we're going for the most stable hypercube at this point. Alright, I think they're all weight one. Okay, now that I got that taken care of, I'm going to do the physical properties one. And I'm going to turn off, I'm going to uncheck the one called gravity toggle, and I'm going to do metal or super bouncy. Uh, bouncy makes it cooler when it hits things, and we want gravity off so it kind of floats around. You know, click all of them once. Okay, so now they all have no gravity. And now we're ready to smart slider. I'm just going to click on each prop that I want to slider. Note that you probably shouldn't be doing this with a more than like a, uh, more than about 65 props. Anything more than that, you're going to get tons of lag. Left clicking each one until they're all purple. They're all purple. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to right click. You see it's working there, it says in the chat. 
Alright, and it's finished. So I'm going to unfreeze them. And the smart slider will automatically no collide them to each other. We're getting a weird pattern here. I think I didn't hit one of them with the weight tool. Looks like it's falling strangely. Nope, looks like I got them all. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with this thing. Um, one more effect that I like, to, I do two things actually when I make my hypercubes. Why are they falling like that? Whatever, I think it's just the prop. So now you can go crazy with them. And they'll do cool things like that. Um, another thing I like to do with mine is go to the blur trail. Trails tube. Make it about too long. Start size 10. This is what I did with my original hypercubes. Hit up all these. They should all have trails now. That one does not. Looks like the trails on these props are kind of weird. I should make them bigger, but I don't have time for that. You get the point. So, that said, maybe I missed one of these with the physical properties. Well, that is how you make a hypercube using the smart slider tool. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.